Stembite. For this Stembite, I'm here at my local community hospital to visit my pharmacy friend, Derek. Hey, Derek, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? So I heard there's a lot of math in working in the pharmacy, and I was kind of a math guy in college, so I figured I could, I could try it out and see if I can actually do the math that you guys do. Yeah. Is that all right? Try, yeah. Okay, let's check it out. All right, so the scenario is we've got a woman who's sick, and she needs some of this antibiotic. So what's the first thing we have to do in order to figure out how much medicine to give? First, we'll want to figure out what this person's ideal body weight is. Okay, cool. And there's an equation for that, right? Yes. Okay, so the ideal body weight is 45.5 kilograms plus 2.3 times the height of the person minus 60. So for this fictional patient, how tall is she? Five foot three. Okay, five foot, oh geez, I gotta do more math. So that's five times 12 is 60. Okay, so she's 63 inches tall. Oh yeah, yeah. You guys use calculators for this? Can. <laughs> That'd be great. 2.3 times three. All right, gotta get out the calculator. It's 6.9. Oh, 52.4 kilograms. I need to know how much this person weighs because if they weigh a lot, I probably need more medicine. And if they don't weigh very much, I probably need less medicine. What do I have to do next? We have to determine if this person's actual weight is within 20% of her ideal body weight. If they're not, mm -hmm. we have to use an adjusted body weight. What does this person weigh? 198 pounds. Oh, come on. <laughs> 198 pounds? So I have to convert this to kilograms. Yes. You're killing me, Smalls. 90 kilograms? This is more than 20% of the ideal body weight. Okay, so we need to use an adjusted body weight. Yes. Okay, so I need another sheet of paper here. You guys must use a lot of paper. This is so ridiculous. This is a lot of math. Yeah. And I'm good at math, and this is a lot of math. Just keep the calculator out, probably. So all this was just to get the adjusted body weight. Now we have to estimate their kidney function. We need to know their kidney function because the kidneys is what's cleaning this medicine out of the blood, right? Yep. yep. And if their kidneys are really good at doing that, we need to give them more medicine. If their kidneys are really bad at doing that, we give them less. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so how do we estimate their kidney function? There's another equation. <laughs> Fabulous. Estimated creatinine clearance equals... Times their serum creatinine. Serum creatinine. So that's something that we have to draw their blood and actually figure out what that number is in the blood right now. Yep, they'll measure that. Well, Derek, I must say, I'm impressed. You guys do a lot of math here in the pharmacy. We do. Yeah. yeah. Now, I got to ask you, are you really, you aren't getting out a piece of paper and doing this by hand, are you? Not every time, no. <laughs> not Any, most of the time. Not most of the time. There's very advanced calculators for this. Yeah, okay. Good. More advanced than my cell phone. There's a lot more math in the pharmacy than I really expected. Appreciate you taking the time to show me how it all works. Hey, thanks for coming. Stand by.